All right, different view from what I usually show you guys, but uh, this is actually the driver's side head, and this is the passenger side head. Um, I just got this one off. It was a bitch and a half to get off because of the number one screw that was back here. It's just really just corroborated around a bunch of different stuff, and it was a pain in the ass to get off. I'm gonna actually show you what I actually had set up to get that thing off, but um. It's pretty telling on where I'm having issues because if you look, well, bam! Oh, look at that! What's this? That's a, it's a pretty big gap. Oh, this one too. That's a pretty big gap. Those are two pretty significantly bent bent valves. Um, obviously they should not be like that at all. Um, and you can see the other ones are, you know, a little bit better, but these are just horrid. Um, the other ones that might still have issues on the other side, um, I don't know how much, again, how much it's been cranked or whatever, but this intake, fuel injection one, as well as this exhaust valve, both are fucked. Major. Um, I'm actually gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these exhaust manifolds off, and I'm gonna try to take it to a machine shop. I'm not gonna take the rocker arms off just because I'll see what they think if I should take them off or I'll just let them take it off. Um, who knows? But I'll just leave these on. I will get the exhaust manifolds off. Um, even though, yeah, just to get them off out of the way. One thing I did notice on the exhaust manifold. It's a nice big old crack right there. So that tells me another thing that I have to freaking buy is uh, probably headers. I would probably want to go stainless steel or just something headers, but not cast iron anymore. I know cast iron is super cheap, but you know, it's off the car, or it's off, you know, it's off the it's off the car. You might as, I might as well just grab something a little bit better. But yeah, man, I struggled with this little bolt right here that was really holding this thing down so much. Um, Honestly, I think it's more there for security, or maybe it's there to help lock lock it down initially. So I think that's the first one that you put back on to really kind of help with the setting kind of nubs, lock down the the um, help you lock down the uh, head gasket. Um, but God, it was, it was such a pain in the ass. Um, let me show you what I actually have to use to. Um, Seriously, this is what I actually had to use to get this thing off. Was uh, I didn't have a certain extension, a certain length. So here, here is actually just a regular extension that I have for three eighths inch, and you see how much it comes up. So I had to use the universal head. This is a um, quarter inch, number uh, ten millimeter bolt, um, a universal end extension a very small extension from the universe uh, for the quarter inch an adapter to a three eighths then a small three eighths I don't know how much this is maybe a two inch I don't know but you can see it's obviously a bit smaller a bit shorter from the universal so if you turn the universal up you can see that how much it is and just that much clearance was able to give me enough leverage to get this damn thing off um, I'm going to just show you where it's at on the, on the engine itself so right here on the engine, back here, it's right here, and this was a son of a bitch to get off. Come on, focus. Yeah, sorry. This is a son of a bitch to get off. That right there. Um, yeah. Overall, the um, pistons look okay on this side, though. Um, yeah, in comparison, yeah, actually it was really fun, so I hooked up my 27 millimeter, um, the extension bar, actually it's a, this is a torque, you know, I'm sorry, what's it called, breaker bar with actually ratcheting it, it's really nice, that's a Harbor Freight, I really suggest you guys try it, try and get one, but, um, this is probably one of the coolest things, like, you know, just turning it, watching the different pistons go up and the order, firing order. And it's cool as hell. That's one stroke. And that's cool. Um, 
yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this over to the, that head, those heads over to the machine shop after I get those um, exhaust uh, manifolds off. Just because I don't think sh they should be dealing with that stuff. But um, yeah, here's a head gasket, old head gasket. This was a lot harder than I wanted it to be. Um, one thing I did is I just got back. I was actually hadn't worked. I haven't worked on this thing for I don't know three weeks now. So that's probably reason why I'm really kind of not out of it, but really haven't gotten a lot done. And this is actually pretty significant. I want to get this done because machine shop is only open Monday through Friday, and you know I'm usually at work. So getting this thing done ASAP is going to be really important. Important. All right, I'm not gonna delay anymore. I gotta get this, get try to get these things off. I'll I'll, I'll post an update though.